I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I came across this sleigh at a thrift shop earlier this summer, and I decided it would make a good project to make over and turn it into more of a primitive country style. The sleigh runners are made of some kind of metal. They are screwed onto the wooden box. The sleigh box is, I would say it's made out of a thin plywood. So my first thing I want to do is take the screws out and unscrew the sleigh runners from the box. Now I'm going to take the sleigh runners outside and I'm going to paint them with this Rust-Oleum it's a metallic oil rubbed bronze. If you want to paint the top parts of the screws, a good way to do that is to just stick them in a scrap piece of styrofoam and then you can just spray the tops. Then I want to take a sandpaper and I want to lightly sand all over the box. On the outside, I am going to paint it. I want to make sure that if any of this area that has been painted is raised. I want to get that smooth and it's also got a little bit of a raised area here that's I don't know if the paint ran or if it's glue or what but I want to sand all that off. So I have just a sanding sponge. It's 120 grit. And once it feels smooth and there aren't any raised spots anymore then I will quit sanding. I'm going to take a rag and wipe it off really good to get all that sanding dust off. I've got Apple Barrel Craft Paint in a red and I'm going to use that to paint the wooden part of the sleigh. My paint is dry after one coat. It's definitely going to need a second coat. I have put four coats of paint on this and it still is showing the holly leaves through the paint. So I'm going to sand it down again and then try applying a coat of black paint to it. And then I'll do the red over the black. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of black paint everywhere and that way when I do a little bit of sanding later to age it, it will have that black showing underneath everywhere. I went ahead and painted a light coat of black on the bottom also and actually I think this is going to work out better. I think that this will allow me to, when I sand to have that black coat underneath as well as the white coat and really give it a nice dimensional look. When I paint my coat of red over the top of this I'm going to use a stiff brush and that way I can just kind of dip my paintbrush in the paint and then wipe a little off and just put a light coat on over the top so that way when I go to sand to give it a rustic look. I don't have to sand a whole lot off. You can see that a lot of times when doing a makeover like this, there is some trial and error. It doesn't always work out exactly like you think it will the first time, but especially with paint, you can just keep painting and sanding and working on it until you get it to the look that you want. 
actually think that doing the black underneath, I'm going to like it a lot more. It's going to be more of a primitive look than what it would have been with the just white underneath. After it is completely dry, I want to use some sandpaper. I've got this 120 grit sanding block and I'm going to sand lightly around the edges. This is 180 grit. And then I'm going to also lightly sand each of the sides. I want to be especially careful sanding on the sides where the holly was painted so the holly doesn't show back through. I think I like this side to have a little bit more red paint to it. It's a little too dark. Then I'm going to apply some folk art home decor antique wax. It is a brush on to water base and then you can wipe it off. The instructions say to leave it overnight and then buff it, but I prefer to wipe it off pretty quick because I don't want it to be super dark and brown. I just want it to give it a little bit of an antique look. Now that everything is painted and dry, I'm going to screw the runners back to the sleigh. Unfortunately, I attached the sleigh runners backwards and I didn't realize it until after I had even taken some pictures of it. For the second Christmas makeover, I want to show you this picket fence. Someone gave this picket fence to my sister and she didn't want it, so she passed it along to me. It's a cute little fence and it would make a cute addition to a Christmas scene or around a little mini Christmas tree, but it's a little too stark white for my taste. I like things to have look like they have a little bit of age to them. Now, if you want a picket fence, but want something a little bit taller, I do have a tutorial to make your own picket fence like this using popsicle sticks. I'll put a link in the description below for that. First thing I'm going to do is sand some of the white paint off. I've got some fine sandpaper. It's 180 grit. I'm just going to tear off a little piece so that it's easier for me to deal with. And then I'm just going to start sanding just a little bit around the edges. You 
you can see that that is taking a little bit of the paint off. I also like some of the paint on the wire to come off if possible, so I'm going to switch to a heavier grit. This is an 80. I'm going to just focus on the wire with it. Looks like that is going to work. It's got a little bit of the paint off of the bottom wires there. I think it now has a nice amount of paint chipped off. So now my next step is going to be to age it by adding a little antiquing wax. So I'm going to use my paintbrush. I'm going to go ahead and buff it off pretty quick just to see if I like this look. Think that's going to work just perfect so I'm going to go ahead and probably brush them on at a time and then I'll wipe them off and then move on and do some more. I have done both sides with the wax and now I'm just going to let it completely dry. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.